He could he could have never done that when he was 12. And that's how you get over a thousand pounds of batteries out of the middle of nowhere at the end of winter. So I was gonna head out riding this morning. We're like uh, minus 28 Celsius or 29 or something like that. So I don't know, minus 16, 17. I don't know, 20 Fahrenheit, something like that. Uh, the van still had fuel in it from uh, last fall when we left. I put, did have some diesel 911 in it, but I don't know, I think it's gelled, so she doesn't want to go. Usually when I have a hard time starting it, it has a, uh, it has a s or whatever diesel-fired heater that heats the motor coolant. Sometimes when it's really cold, that doesn't want to light though, which is the case today. The van almost started, the diesel heater wouldn't light. So sometimes then if I can't get the diesel heater going, I put a propane heater heating up the diesel heater, then I can get the diesel heater going, then I can get the diesel motor going. The diesel heater won't light today though, so. Um, so now we're doing a boost with the Toyota. I've had this heater going under there for half an hour or more. We'll see uh, what happens here if anything does. Once the tack starts to go, then I can let go of the crank, but man, that took a long time. But she's going. We got a check engine light, but that's to be expected. I can clear that. Success! But, uh, we got her going. Now I can get the toys loaded up and uh, supposed to warm up pretty good today. Should be pretty nice. Snow squalls in the forecast, but uh, we'll see what we get. It seems like uh, I didn't make it far. I was losing air pressure. I aired up this tire before I left, but the issue is uh, the valve stem here. She's uh, chipped away or something, so I'm gonna have to try and get the spare out. Not a whole lot of snow here. Hopefully uh, we find more where we're going. The spare is on the van and uh, back on the road again. Usually as we get up in these hills, the um, snow banks get considerably higher. So we'll see how they grow. Well, the snow depth isn't exceptional, but it's pretty good. And I would assume in the bush we kept quite a bit of snow when we had the warm weather, so looks uh, like there's quite a bit of fresh powder in the bush.
more crusty. He forgot how. <laughs> No, me neither. But I will. <laughs> We're gonna head away to the bottom of the creek because we'll be down there somewhere. Ten more. how his first year as a 13 year old goes, the first day. Yeah! 13! 13! Yes! He, yes! he could have never done that when he was 12. You know yeah! what they say, like son, oh! like father.
I'm heading out on a bit of an adventure here today. Um, we have uh, a neighbor here that um, I installed a solar system in their remote cabin close to 20 years ago now, maybe 18 years ago, something like that. And uh, I guess they've been having some issues, uh, wondering if their batteries are bad or something's going wrong there. They haven't been there, but uh, they got somebody looking after it for them and they couldn't get the, uh, seem to get things working right in the solar system. and. Uh, so we're going to take a little ride out there. Uh, it's a remote lake that does fly in in the summer or canoe and portage in. And uh, we can still get there on the sleds. It's late in the season, but it should be good. We'll uh, take you guys along and uh, show you what's out there. Looks like we got a bunch of dead batteries so we're down to like one or two volts on each battery uh, I think the culprit was uh, the uh, PV disconnect here it was turned off so we weren't getting anything in from the solar panels and uh, sitting through the winter it just they slowly ran down so we're gonna have to haul the batteries out of here we found a sleigh we're gonna get them all disconnected and hauled out they're big 370s or 385s we found an old sleigh and uh, we're gonna try and haul them out. <laughs> <laughs> Word is dropped. Make it happen in one trip. 
Alan's making some frames. We're gonna get these things tied on this sleigh so they don't slide around too much on us. And uh, get them hauled out of here. Little duct tape for added security. That's how you get over a thousand pounds of batteries out of the middle of nowhere at the end of winter. Smooth.